My name is André van Kommene. I've been married to Kathy for 24 years. We have two daughters. We have a wonderful family life. I'm a physical therapist for the last 35 years, going to work every day with a smile and really enjoying it. I was born in Amsterdam in the Netherlands in 1961. My parents were the World War II generation. They were very loving parents. We went to church every week. It never you know, spoke to me at all, you know, and, and I remember any time I asked a question about God, there were no answers. At around age 12, sports in school became more important than church, and I was relatively talented in sports. I competed for the Dutch national track and field team. Because I wanted to try to the next level to become an Olympic athlete, my body just couldn't handle it and was injured time after time. And so the one person that really was helping me was a physical therapist. He was an inspiration for me because he really enjoyed every person that he got in contact with. So seven years later, I became a physical therapist. Through that time, I never went to church. There was no connection with God. In fact, it made much more sense to me that there was no God. That made me an atheist. It was not an educated atheist. I was not really studying at all. You know, God was just not important in my life. I was working as a physical therapist then, and my patient was a stuntman. And at one point, I had to go to Northern Spain for a training camp. He said, oh, that's great because I have to go to southern Spain. He said, well, why don't you come and visit me? So that's what I did. So he picked me up, brought me to the set in Spain. He introduced me to the owners of Amblin Entertainment. It was Frank Marshall, Kathleen Kennedy and Steven Spielberg. I got invited to be the physical therapist for Harrison Ford and Sean Connery on the movie Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It was really cool. One of the locations was LA, and I started to work at UCLA Sports Rehabilitation Center. I started to date a Jewish girl. After a year of dating, we were thinking about maybe getting married, but the only way possible was if I would become Jewish. And so she gave me a tape from Dennis Prague. He's a Jewish theologian, philosopher, radio host. He captured my attention because he said, let me share with you why there's much more likely a God than there's not. After listening to this tape, if I was intellectually honest, then I had to admit that there was much more likely a God than there was not. And that blew my mind. I could not believe that I went from being an atheist to agnostic to a theist. And here I was, 30 years old, and having to change my mind based on reason and logic alone. It changed my whole paradigm of how to look at life. Because the parents of my girlfriend made an ultimatum to either choose me or being Jewish. So I decided to stop the relationship. About half a year later, I met a girl, Kathy. We started to date. She asked me if I wanted to go to church with her because Christ was important to her. And I thought, you know what, you, know, you look so beautiful. I will go to church with you, why not? And so we arrived here at Rocky Peak and I saw a lot of people and it was upbeat music. You know, that was totally different than what I expected. And then when the pastor came up and he spoke a normal language, that really intrigued me. And so from that moment on, we just went every week. You know, the more I learned, the more questions I got. Questions like, if there's so much evil, you know, how can there be a God? Who made God? How can you believe in, in, in a man born from a virgin? And every time I got good answers, at least answers that fit the picture. We were invited by a couple to a dinner that was Billy and Danielle. At the end of the evening, Danielle gave me a Bible. She said, Andre, here's a Bible. It's easy to read. Once you start reading it, start with the book of John. So I received it. Did I read it? No. About half a year later, Billy and Danielle asked us to go out and, and have dinner together. And so we did. You know, the moment we sat down, they looked at me and they said, so Andre, uh, how'd you walk with God? And I said, uh, what walk? And then immediately they focused in on Kathy. And I said, Kathy, what are you doing? Still dating Andre. You know we love him, we pray for him, but he's not changing. You're still dating a non-believer. She defended me, kind of like, no, he is growing. He asked the right questions. They left and 
Kathy and I were together and I said, I think we need to uh, break up. I said, I, I'm pulling you away from your God and ultimately you will be unhappy. It was hard for both of us. You know, I was so frustrated. I was not only sad, I was mad. I love two people and both times I have to break up because of this God thing. I went to bed, couldn't sleep, and I thought, you know what, I remember Daniel gave me that book. So I started getting the Bible and I started to read at John. At one point it says, you're either for me or against me. That it was Christ making a statement. And I knew one thing, I was definitely not against him. And I tried to sleep, I, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I started to pray. God, I, I don't know exactly who you are. I said, based on what I read, I trust Christ, but please help me in my belief. It was very simple. The next morning I woke up, went to the beach, rollerbladed, that's what my normal routine was. In the evening, I decided to call Kathy. And I thought, okay, I made a decision that is very important to her and could be important for our relationship if she still wanted to continue. I remember sitting in, the, in a couch in my one bedroom apartment in Santa Monica, and I pick up the phone to tell her the good news. In the middle of the conversation, I see this figure appearing in the middle of the room and walking up to me in a white robe. I cannot see the face. So I tell Kathy, I said, hold on a second. And this person comes to me and puts his hands like this and puts it right on top of my head and says, everything will be okay and disappears. And I'm talking to Kathy. Uh, Kath, let me tell you what just happened. It was pretty amazing, of course, and I think God just met me and said, relax, your faith is a genuine faith. I still have questions. Do I understand God completely? Absolutely not. But do I understand God more and more? And the answer is yes. That is the beauty and it's a growing experience. One of the things that I've learned through this growth process is that the most important aspect of life is to have a personal relationship with God. And from there, I get God's perspective and know what is important in life right now. What I'm excited about, not only what has happened, but what is going to happen also in the future.